so uh, I'm Sebastian. Yes. I'm from uh, Germany, from I Berlin originally. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think um, I got out of this workshop that um, designing together across distance, across different time zones is a very difficult exercise, a very tedious exercise and it has a lot of promise, I think. I mean, now there were some representatives from, uh, from, from larger companies, which for them, is, for them is very important to actually enable their company to, to come together, uh, in, in even in the global world, where the team is not actually anymore is constrained to 10 people, uh, not anymore in one location. And um, for me, it's interesting because I don't work in this uh, space. I am not working on uh, for-profit uh, um, need to get people together to collaborate, but more I'm looking from the angle of actually how can you use some of the ideas in knowledge management that are flagged by these representatives, these uh, uh, delegates here at the conference, at the meeting. And how can I reflect on using that for urban management, which is the area what I'm interested in. And you can see that there are similarities in, um, in the discussion. Um, and so far as how can actually digital technology help to um, um, you know make urban planning more malleable more uh, accountable um, how do we generate tools to help people actually be involved and I think in some sense this uh, context in which I'm working is a little bit more challenging even because you deal with a lot of different um, preferences that users have uh, I call them not users so I should say citizens um, and you also have the challenge of actually how do you how do you actually involve them in the first place because uh, they are not need they don't need to be involved they they live in the city they they in so uh, in some sense they are they want to, would like to be involved if they could improve the city so to speak so that's this element of improvement that could be counted. So being a buddy, meaning helping today Amaresh uh, Shakbati to Skype in and to participate in the conversation was an interesting experience. Uh, um, I enjoyed it. I could go with uh, Amaresh uh, from conversation to conversation. Uh, I enjoyed working with him together on the task and trying to you know, interact with people in a shared manner, really. What I found also interesting is the particularities in that. The, the microphone doesn't pick up everything so well and also the uh, limitations of the visual uh, so feedback that he gets to the video camera on my laptop is, is constraining so uh, it made me actually sensible about actually that your vision or your perception is quite constrained and um, the need for uh, yeah, more individualized contact so I then took the laptop uh, like I would do if I haven't understood everything, I would just need to go to the person so to then ask again what was the idea that was communicated. <laughs> so to then help uh, uh, actually for us decide which workshop to go towards. So. Yeah. But I was thinking more on his behalf in terms of what should be the interactions yes. that make him understand. And so then. I think I'm not, I didn't try to, or consciously I tried to not act on his behalf in providing input. Yes. So I think there we were more, uh, I was trying to be more open actually involving him. For example, when we designed a, 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 a recitation of a shirt to, to come up with a follow-up topic that should be dis discussed. Yes. So that was very much uh, his main contribution. So.